morning, everybody. I have a, a few selections here. This first one is from a, a Course in Miracles teacher whose name is Nook Sanchez. And this was a Facebook post from a couple days ago that she shared that, that spoke to me, so I felt to share it with everybody here. It's, it's entitled, um, There is no fear in love. There appears to be both fear and love, yet only one of them is real. Love is all-encompassing and has no opposite, which means that fear in all its illusory forms is unreal. Take note, fear cannot be mastered. The unreal does not exist. The attempt to conquer fear arises from fear itself. As such, it is really fear defending itself by battling against itself. If fear is unreal in reality, then how does love heal our belief in it? Unopposed and undivided, love acquits all fear. It does not fight it, does not suppress or deny it, it does not contest it, nor does it compete with it. Love very simply acquits all fear. If the ego is simply lack of light, then light, as love, extinguishes the darkness. Love cannot be love without gratitude and trust. It is all-embracing, all-inclusive, and all-trusting. In love's all-encompassing, undivided, and unopposed innocence, it can only ever see itself. It can see nothing other than itself. It does not give fear an identity, but merely looks past it, flooding all ideas of darkness with its light. And in seeing itself, it calls forth that which it sees and is. Love is. In practical terms, when you sense or see fear in any form, it is not you, but fear perceiving what is not there. Remember that you are not fear. You are by nature, the totality of love's uninterrupted innocence without an opposite. No defense is necessary to be what you are. Your undivided totality as love is shared with God. There is no fear in you. However, you must remember this. When fear is felt, you must surrender it to love. This next one is a lesson from A Course in Miracles. Um, I would also share that if you're interested in finding out more about Nook, takemetothetruth.org is her website, and she has a book that she's written called The End of Death. Um, so this is the lesson that I was, oops. What did I do here? I lost that lesson. Let's see. Well, oh, here it is. Oh. Yeah. Well, we, oh, here it is. Okay. This is workbook lesson 358. No call to God can be unheard nor left unanswered, and of this I can be sure. His answer is the one I really want. You who remember what I really am alone, remember what I really want. You speak for God, and so you speak for me. And what you give me comes from God himself. Your voice, my Father, then is mine as well. And all I want is what you offer me, in just the form you choose that it be mine. Let me remember all I do not know, and let my voice be still, remembering. But, not, but let me not forget your love and care, keeping your promise to your son and my awareness always. Let me forget myself is nothing, but myself is all. And then this last one, I dug out of the filing cabinet this morning. This is a poem that I wrote 20 years ago, and it's called A Moment. A Moment, consisting of all the energy drawn to it, Thoroughly drawn, innocent grace. A moment is given, a moment received. Perfect, perfectly given, openly received. Wonders all but forgotten, unequivocally triumph. Ethereal force is present. Connection, reinforced love. Unbreakable, eternal. Bridge between us, has always been there. A moment's glimpse of heaven with you. <laughs> 